Welcome to the Configuring Active Record in Sinatra screencast. In a previous episode, Using Active Record with Sinatra, we showed you how to use Active Record in Sinatra and built a URL shortener. We showed you how to get Active Record up and running in your Sinatra application, and now in this screencast, we'll show you how to configure it. By default, the Active Record Sinatra gem looks for the environment variable database URL. You wouldn't have this set on development machines. This means the default adapter is SQLite and the database name is the name of the current environment. Here's how you would compose a database URL. The name of the database adapter would be where the scheme would normally be. So Postgres, MySQL, SQLite, and so forth would be in place of HTTP or HTTPS. If you have a username and password, enter them in after the colon double forward slash, separating the username and password with a colon, then following them with an at symbol. If you don't have a password, you can leave it blank. SQLite doesn't require a username and password. After the at symbol, add the host name. In development, this is usually localhost. If you're using MySQL or PostgreSQL on your local machine, and depending on how your database is set up to listen, the host name might be 127.0.0.1.0.0.0 or localhost. If you're using SQLite, the host name you provide will be used as the name of your database. Generally, this is the file name you'll want. So in the case of SQLite, you're done with writing your database URL. Beware of a gotcha here. Since host names can't have underscores in them, your SQLite database name can only have letters, numbers, dashes, and periods in it. So database underscore name.db isn't allowed, whereas database dash name.db is. Next, you can specify the port. If you have the default setup of MySQL or PostgreSQL, then you don't need to specify the port. If your server is on a custom port, you specify it by adding a colon followed by the port after the host. Finally, the path after the forward slash is the name of the database you want to connect to on the server. So, if you wanted to set a custom database URL for development, all you would need to do is type into your terminal export database URL equals followed by your custom database URL. Then, run your migrations and Sinatra instance, and you're up and running. One quick aside, depending on the permissions of the Postgres or MySQL user, you may not be able to create the database even though you may have read-write access. You may need to create the database first before running your migrations. Every time you open a new terminal window when running migrations or starting your application, you'll need to run the export command again. You could add this export to a bashrc or zshrc file, but if you're developing multiple sites, this may not be practical. It may be more sensible to set up some configuration in the code that checks your environment per application. We'll go into this in just a second. Let's talk about deploying to Heroku. Most of the time, you'll be developing on a local box with no database URL set, and will be working with the default SQLite database. In other words, you'll be working with the defaults. If this is the case, then no further configuration is needed, as Heroku has the database URL environment variable already set. Once deployed, you can run your migrations with zero configuration. Similarly, if you don't want to write custom configuration code when deploying to Fusion Passenger, Apache allows you to set environment variables with a set env directive. So, when deploying to Apache with Fusion Passenger, in your virtual host configuration file, you'll need to add set env database URL followed by your custom database URL. Note, the database URL will then be exposed to applications running within your Apache server. However, this doesn't add it to your command line. So, if you want to run your rake tasks for database creation and migration, you'll need to set the database URL in the terminal before running them. There may be circumstances where you want to set different database URLs in the code, depending on which environment the application is running in. Doing the configuration in the code offers more flexibility than doing it via the methods we've covered so far. To set the database URL in your application manually, all you need to do is set database to the URL you want it to be, 
after your includes in your Sinatra application. If you run rake db migrate from the terminal, you'll now see that the custom encode db has been created. If we wanted to set up custom URLs for different environments, we could do this by setting up configuration blocks. We'd write configure followed by the environment followed by a block of code containing our variables. Once again, if we run our migrations, we see that the custom dev db is created. If we change our rack environment to production by setting rack env equals production when we run our migrations, we see that the custom production db is created. Alternatively, you could set up a custom configuration hash with symbols of environment names as keys pointing to their respective database URLs. You can access the current environment from the settings object by calling dot environment on it. Okay, so that's how you set up the different environments with database URLs. There may come a time when you want to configure additional options for your database connection. For example, you may want to set the connection pool and timeout values. This can be done by setting a hash of options to database extras. You should set your options before you set your database URL. So you do something like this. Set database extras, then pool set to 5, and timeout set to 3000. And that's all you'll probably need to know about configuring Active Record with Sinatra. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our RSS feed, follow us on Twitter, and please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions for new screencasts in the comments below. If you like our videos and think your friends, followers, or colleagues would benefit from seeing them, please feel free to share via any of the links below the video. We really appreciate your support. See you next time!